Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm here to do, yes, another Transformers review. So this time I want to take a look at Generations Warpath. Woo! All right, pretty awesome looking figure. I really like this guy. He was a centerpiece on a previous giveaway I had. Um, yeah, this is an interesting figure. Really like it. Take a look at the package real quick. Get the Hey, look, you can see the computer. Um, here's his artwork at the top. Looks pretty cool. Looks really menacing in that artwork up there. So he's a level three out of five uh, Transformer. He's out of the Generations line. And there he is. He's what I call an H tank, which is a fake tank that doesn't exist. I'm not really a big fan of those. Um, but, yeah, that's what he is right there. Uh, on the side, we've got Autobot logo. Uh, this side over here, it just says he's a deluxe class. And then we've got, in the bubble, we've got the Autobot logo, which I find very cool. And we've got the neat-looking little circuitry in the bubble up there, which is always really nice. And then on the bottom, we've got, hey, you can get Thundercracker, uh, which is very cool. So, again, there he is, Warpath. Very neat, very awesome. Here's the back packaging. So, pretty cool. Standard pick. There he is in robot mode. Here is his bio. If you want to read that, you can hit pause. And then we've got his tank mode down here. His little H tank mode. And then we have his stats. Again, if you want to take a look at that, just hit pause. So, yeah, looks pretty neat. Let's get him out of the package and see what he looks like in tank and robot mode. All right, so here we have Warpath in his tank mode, uh, directly out of the package. And for the most part, I really do like this tank mode. I love the color. It's very G1 Warpath. Um, he's got a turret that moves up and down, which is very cool. He also spins that way. That is very cool. I was expecting it not to do that, um, which is very nice that it actually does. Um, he has got a little uh, cap up here at the top that opens up, and you can see his face. Hey, how you doing? At all. Uh, very reminiscent of G1. That's kind of cool. Um, the little hatch popping up there, so that's kind of nice. And then if you're just looking at it, you can just see the, the hatch there, which is very cool. He's got a little black Autobot logo, and then right there it says Zow 3333, which is very cool. One of his little things, he kind of... Warpath had Tourette's in the show. He would talk and all of a sudden go, kabow, zam, boom. And that was always kind of fun. He was one of my more favorite characters because of that. So he's got one of his little trademark zow right there. And then on this side, it says K49OW. So it kind of looks like it says kapow, which is very cool. Um, he also has a little black Autobot logo there, which is very nice. Um, and he has this neat looking little machine gun thing up here and a missile. Here's the problem with the missile. And let's see. There. Fail. It does not fire very well at all. I don't know if it's just this figure or if it's all of them, but it does not work very well, so that's kind of a fail. Now the other thing I noticed, these pieces rotate up and I think they look cooler rotated up like that. Um, looking on the package, they actually um, don't sit like that. They sit spread out, which is kind of interesting. I think it actually looks a little cooler sitting up like that, um, personally. I don't know. But yeah, not too bad. I'm digging it. He's got these little treads, lots of good detail. Um, we got the treads underneath. He's got these wheels, the rolls. Um, the back side, we got a little kibblage, I guess, back there. That's, that doesn't look all that great, but everything else is pretty good. I like all the panels. There's some nice little panels on there. This would make, if you blackwashed this figure, it would look really, really nice. And it's also, it's almost a bigger version of the Legends class Warpath that they put out a couple of years ago. Um, it's, I mean, it looks very similar to that little H tank. So, uh, very interesting, very cool. But, uh, for the most part, I really dig it. It's got lots of great detail on it. I just wish it wasn't an H tank. I wish it was 
an actual model, maybe an Abrams tank or something. So, uh, yeah, other than that, I love the, the little logos on the sides of the tank. I think that is really cool. The turret is awesome. I'm really digging that, and it's a shame that this missile just does not work. Boo, epic fail. So there he is in tank mode. Let's take a look at him in the robot mode. Okay, so here we have Warpath in his robot mode. And he's actually kind of an interesting uh, little guy to transform. These arms, the first time you do that is kind of kind of interesting. Um, make sure that you are, in fact, flipping, if I can get the thing open now, Arr! this piece right here. It's very difficult. This piece is really hard to figure out in the instructions, so uh, keep, a, keep an eye out for that. And these legs are kind of interesting that uh, when they fold out, um, uh, they, they, they're, they're interesting too. So those are probably the two most difficult pieces as far as his transformation goes. Um, Robot-wise, he's nice and bulky. I like that. He's got a good little little chunk going on here, and he should because he's a tank. Um, yeah, I don't really care for the missile much in robot mode. He looks better without it. Uh, he's got some things that I really like, and some things that I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed in. His detail in robot mode is outstanding. His back, look at his back piece there with all that bits and panels and things looks really good. I mean, they he has very little tank kibble that's not supposed to be there. Like, he's got his uh, treads on there um, on the bottom of his feet and the bottom of his arms, but that's supposed to be there from the old show. Uh, so that's fine. I, I don't mind that at all. Some things that I don't like, his little tiny arms uh, in comparison to his big forearms and his big bulky um shoulder there. It'd been nice if they um, would have beefed that up a little bit, maybe, but I, I don't know how they could have. Uh, the tank barrel seems a little bit stubby. Uh, I suppose you can pull it out to a length that you like. Um, yeah, uh, interesting. I like how you got to push the tank barrel in to get it to get the head pop up. I thought that was kind of cool. The one thing I did find very strange is the back of his head is black. All black. I don't know why that is. That's just very strange to me. Um, the other thing, the piece just kind of, the hatch just kind of folds down onto the head. That's that's kind of sad. It, I don't know why they just didn't make it so you can flip it all the way back or, or sink down or something. And he has zero head articulation, which is unfortunate. Uh, he is very menacing looking. He looks way more menacing than he did in the old show. It's, I think it's those eyes. Look how like er, slanted down those eyes are. Um, he's just very, very menacing. He didn't look that mean in the show. I mean, he has a tank. He's a war machine. So I, I can see him being an aggressive character. Um, but he just was he had a, he was good spirited in the old show and was kind of happy go lucky kind of guy, um, so I, that's kind of missing out of this particular figure. But you know he has a tank, so I can't really fault him too much for that. I really see this guy getting repainted as a Decepticon. I really really do, uh, especially with that head mold. He just he looks Decepticon. -y. Um, but other than that, I mean, he stands really well. Those big nice big feet. Um, he stands real well. He's got decent articulation um, and his arms his hands doesn't have really have too much articulation to them and you know he just kind of sits there and pow 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 anyway so I mean no hips really just in his legs there I guess but all in all I really like this figure this is probably one of my more favorite of the generations figures so he's definitely cool um, he's definitely worth picking up if uh, Sorry, shaking the camera there. If you do not have this figure, pick this figure up. He is very awesome, very nice, and he is a great additive. I just like having a nice big Warpath figure. That's very cool, very awesome. So there he is, Generations Warpath. Bow, zam, bam! That's all! Boom! Thanks for watching! Bow!